Just three more days till the West Texas Fair and Rodeo 2022 comes to an end, but there is no lack of things to do on and off the Midway. The Junior Livestock Show begins on Saturday and families are already setting up to bring their animals in tomorrow. CareBC's Noah McKinney takes a look at this event and tells us how it set the framework for Abilene's original fairgrounds in tonight's top story. What comes to mind when you picture a fair? Funnel cake, fast rides, maybe a front row seat at the rodeo. All of these nostalgic notions have their roots in Texas ranches. Fairs in general started around livestock and then even rodeos uh, and then started adding more entertainment like the carnivals and midway and things like that. A time for rural Texans to come together, says Junior Market Steer Show Superintendent Steve Estes. Really no different than what we're still doing today. The West Texas Fair and Rodeo began in 1897 right here in Abilene, though back then it was held at what is now Oscar Rose Park. The fair wouldn't move to the Expo Center until the early 1950s, but that didn't stop those early Abilenians from enjoying the same food, fun, and festivities we do today. Folks were able to get together at the fair. It was a good time to see each other, make new friends, and exhibit their livestock or, or their crops. A practice alive and well among even the youngest of today's Texans. I was six when I started showing, and I started in the lamb end of it. My first show, I showed a Angus up here at the West Texas Fair and Rodeo. Riley Hollis of Baird has been showing cattle since she was four years old, a passion passed down by her mother, Terry. She's getting to be where she doesn't need me a lot. She can pretty much handle most of it on her own. And while Grand Champion is the focus of all junior ranchers, the fair provides more than just competition. We're able to come together as different cattle ranchers from all over the state and talk about what we were dealing with on our personal ranches back at home. Social bonds that last and grow each year. It's a blast. When we make so many memories that way. So next time you mosey down the midway, consider taking a look at where it all began. Come over to the first financial pavilion or the guitar arena and see some of the, the livestock shows that are going on. You'll watch a little bit and you can kind of figure out uh, how it all works. For BigCountryHomePage.com, I'm Noah McKinney. Well, thank you, Noah, and here's a fun fact for you. The round exhibit building at the Expo Center was originally modeled after the round barn at Oscar Rose Park, currently in use by the Abilene Community Theater. This is one of the last remaining structures from the park's early years.